In this video, we're going to take a look at a reflex arc. But before we get into that, we should probably talk about what a reflex is. So a reflex is a rapid pre-programmed response to some specific stimulus. Basically, think of it like a negative feedback loop. You're moving away from something that's going to disrupt you from homeostasis. And we're going to set this up for things that are detrimental to us. For example, if we are encountering like a sharp pointy needle causing pain, so it's specific to a pain receptor, you're going to pull away from it. So it's like the stimulus is pain and then the response would be the opposite, get away from pain. So if we look at maybe for uh, example, in a, a pupillary response. So if you look at the um, opening in the eye for light, if you're in a dark room, this is going to open up further. If you shine a pen light in the eye, they're going to constrict because the stimulus is too much light. The solution would be cut back on light. So you're basically doing the opposite of whatever that stimulus is that could be potentially harmful. Another example would be a stretch reflex, the one where they are testing where they hit the bottom of your kneecap. What they're actually doing there is they're stretching out the quad muscles and the response of those quad muscles is going to do the opposite. They're going to contract. So they don't want to get damaged by being stretched too far. Unexpectedly, they're going to contract back up, which actually kicks out the lower leg. So it's a rapid response. You don't have voluntary say over it. It's to basically negate something that could be harmful to us. So how does this all work? Just like a negative feedback loop. So actually, let's refer <laughs> reference back to a negative feedback loop. So homeostasis, you have a receptor that notices some change. That change is the stimulus. Receptor is going to talk to a control center which is typically going to be a nervous tissue structure or a glandular structure because it's communication, it's function. That's going to then send out commands to an effector to then have a solution and get us back to whatever normal is. Reflex arc just works with the same thing. You are going to have a stimulus. You're going to notice that from a receptor. It's going to talk to a control center, most likely spinal cord or brain. And then you're going to go to an effector that can do the opposite of whatever that problem was to get us back to normal. Where you see the arrows, since this is a reflex, those are gonna be controlled by neurons, the cells of the nervous system. So let's put the specifics to it. So we're gonna start with a stimulus. So in this case, so let's do a stimulus that's a needle. So we're gonna have some kind of pain. So the stimulus is going to then activate your receptor. That receptor is basically going to be some specialized dendrite. So this is bad art, but there's our dendrite. So here's a little pin pushing on our skin. So the stimulus, in this case a pin, is going to activate the receptors, which are specialized pain receptors on the dendrites of a neuron. And so then we're going to send information from that neuron into the CNS. If you are a neuron that's sending information into the CNS, you are a sensory neuron. you're going to talk to a cell inside of the CNS. Now, I could try to draw a spinal cord. It never really goes well, so I'm just going to do this. CNS. You're going to talk to a cell insi inside of the CNS, and those cells inside of the CNS, because they're entirely within the central nervous system, between other neurons, are always going to be classified as interneurons. So the CNS, the central nervous system, is our control center. So we had our stimulus. It's going to activate a receptor, in this case a pain receptor, carry that information along a sensory neuron to an inner neuron. Inner neuron is basically going to say, look, whoa, we need to get away from that pain. Now, if you weren't going to use a reflex, what you would do is then send that information all the way up to the brain to the appropriate, to get routed into the appropriate place. Then you would have to then process what that means, then send another piece of information to the part of the brain for motor commands to figure out what the appropriate, appropriate response is, send the information back down the spinal cord to then be sent out. That's a delay that you don't want to wait for because the longer you wait, the more your hand goes into this needle. So we're going to skip sending it up to the brain. You can send what's called a collateral branch. It's what I like to refer to as like the brain, oh, by the way, I handled this, we're good. But we're going to also directly send our commands over to a neuron that can then woo talk to an effector. And this one is a motor neuron. So a motor neuron sending out commands to muscle to say we need to contract and actually withdraw. It's actually called a withdrawal reflex specifically. So it's going to go to muscle. 
to then pull away from that thing causing us pain. So this is a reflex arc. We're gonna go stimulus to receptor, sensory neuron takes the information into the CNS, inner neuron directly talks to the motor neuron, which will then go to our effector, our muscle, to you know, get us away from that stimulus. Now you have this setup where you have two points of relay. This is called a polysynaptic ref relax. You have polysynaptic reflex, you have two relays. You can make it a little bit faster. You don't use this that often because you lose this collateral branch ability to say, oh, hey, brain, by the way, um, let's learn from this. Let's not put our hand on the needles again. But there are some times where you're just like, okay, I don't have to worry about also informing the brain. We're just going to handle it right away. We'll skip the middleman. And so there are some reflexes, stretch reflex being an example, where the sensory neuron, so let's do another sensory neuron. The sensory neuron will directly talk to the motor neuron. And that would be an example of what we call monosynaptic. So monosynaptic reflex, sensory neuron directly talking to motor neuron versus your typical reflex arc where you go sensory neuron, inner neuron, motor neuron, this is going to be a polysynaptic. So polysynaptic reflex for having multiple synapses, one there and one there. All right, hopefully that was helpful. Thanks for watching.